Number one, you need Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder 3. This is the main program that I use to uh, stream onto Justin TV. You need to configure your Intensity Pro first before it can actually display on uh, Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. Let's pull that up. You open up your control panel right here and go to Blackmagic Control Panel. Let's see if I can zoom in for you here. Alright, that looks pretty good. Here are my settings. Your output. This is for the Wii. This is just for the Wii. Now, settings can be very similar, but I'm going over the Wii first. For you to stream the Wii, Nintendo Wii, your output is HDMI and YRYBY. That is basically the component cables. That is your output. It's basically using HDMI for output. Input, component cables and analog RC audio. That is what the input is. This should be defaulted like that. Remove fuel jitter when video is paused. That doesn't need to be checked. Biggest deal right now. Take a look at this. Output processing and input processing. This can totally fuck you up if you don't pay attention to this. Output processing should be off for the Wii. Input processing should be standard definition anamorphic 69 to 1080i. Why? Because the Wii does not have HD signal. Now, don't slap me in the face yet. I do know I'm using component cables, and it is 480p for component cables. Here is what I'm going to say about that. The Wii supports 480p, yes. The Intensity Pro does not support 480p. 480p is ridiculous. I can't believe Nintendo even thought about that. 480p is not detected on the Intensity Pro. Component cables I bought for the Wii to attach to my Intensity Pro. The settings on my Wii right now is 480i. Do not switch it to 480p or else you're not going to be able to see it. It's going to be black or it's going to be double screen. Trust me, please. I'll save you a lot of pain right now. Remember, this is for the Wii. <laughs> SD anamorphic 69 to 1080i. It's basically upscaling it. Yeah, it does not keep its true form, and it does take away some quality when displaying on your uh, monitor, but it's okay. It still looks fine. It looks like a Wii, <laughs> so it's all right. If you'd rather have it attached to a different television, uh, you could probably split it if you really wanted to, but I don't split it. I just go from the capture card into the television through HDMI. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, that is your Blackmagic Design 3.6. That's what I'm using. Let's close that. Let's zoom out. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. Next, let me full screen this. This is Adobe Flash Media Encoder 3. There is my screen right there. Input video, output video, audio, and you can mess with those settings later. But, let me, actually, I'm going to, there we go. There we go. Let's zoom in to these settings. Zoom in, there we go. All right. First thing is first, preset custom. Your device should be DeckLink Video Capture, right here. Your format should be H.264. Now if you click on the settings for the format, here are the settings for it. 
Let me zoom out because you probably don't see that. Profile is baseline, level is 3.1, keyframe frequency is 5 seconds. Just so you know, zoom back in. Alright. Frame rate is 29.97. Do not try any other frame rate. Your input size should be 720 by 486. Do not check maintain aspect ratio. You will fuck yourself over. Bit rate, I do 1200. That's why it looks really good. Your output size for it to be fitting on the Justin TV screen so that there's no black bars, no letter boxes, and it looks 100% fitting on the screen. I hate all of the streamers who do not fit their stream on the window that is supplied. Please look at these settings. 800 by 450 should be your output size. This is for all your consoles. These, these settings are for all the consoles. All right, let's go over here to audio. Audio is line two, virtual audio cable. I use virtual audio cables for my audio because my mic inputs on my mixer do not work. It is ghetto. Uh, virtual audio cables, um, I think it's like 20 bucks. And you buy it online, you could probably torrent that shit, but I won't say that because I'm a very good person. Channel should be stereo. Format is MP3. Bit rate for your audio is 96. And that is the main settings for Adobe Media Live Encoder. Follow these settings completely. You will save a lot of time. All right, now it's about time that we play some freaking games, right? Let's play. I'm gonna show you both the screens here so you can compare if there's any uh, lag between the two uh, inputs. There really isn't, but let me show you. All right. Let's play um, Heavy Builder. I can't wait for this game to come out. It's coming out on Tuesday. Which this video is probably going to be posted much after that because video editing sucks. Right. Let's go kill a bitch. Hey. Damn, you walk slow. Reload that shit. <laughs> 